I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to talk about the nakshatra Rohini, which Rohini is the nakshatra that begins at 10 degrees of Taurus and extends to 23 degrees, 20 minutes, all contained within the sign of Taurus. Its symbol is a cart that, that's being uh, draw, drawn from the chariot. And its deity is Brahma, which is the creator and is relative to Prajapati, the creator. So the stars that are contained within this nakshatra, the most important one, I think, is Aldebaran, one of the royal fixed stars. Aldebaran is the eye of the bull, and Rohini is called the red one. And I believe it's called the red one relative to this fixed star, Aldebaran, is known to be the bright red star. The red eye of the bull is what it's called. <clears throat> and within this nakshatra is, is, the, is Hades, which are the five stars in the head of the bull. And looking at this, you're going to find that Aldebaran is relative to the meaning of the star, which can be honors, it is loyal, it is intelligence, it deals with intelligence, and most of all, it has this quality of enthusiasm and, and love of life. So, <clears throat> so since this star is so relative to excitement, passion, love of life, you're going to find that this whole myth behind Rohini with the 27 nakshatras is so relevant because Rohini is the nakshatra as the moon would transit through all 27 nakshatras began to spend a little bit more time in the nakshatra Rohini. And this is believed because of the sensuality that is equated the sensuality and sexuality, sexual magnetism that people possess with this star strong. And so when the moon started, Soma started spending more time in this nakshatra. Well, the eldest sister, Jaista, told Prajapati, their father, the creator, of the actions of the moon. And Prajapati cast a spell on, uh, on Soma, the moon. And this is why we have the cycles of the waxing and waning moon, because the 27 sisters felt bad for the moon and said, we don't want him to die, because initially when the spell was cast, it's like, you know, the father said, you die. But they felt bad, so they said, no, can you kind of mitigate this in a certain way? So he did. And so when the moon dies, it comes back to life. And this is the moon as the phases of the moon as it waxes to its darkness and dies, but then starts to come back to life as in the waxing moon from the waning moon. But <clears throat> this goes back to the qualities of what Rohini is all about. Because when I think about Rohini, I think about an appreciation for quality and things that are high quality the best. You see, people with this nakshatra strong would rather have one of the very best, the highest quality of something, rather than 10 of the second best. It's all about quality and instead of quantity. And this nakshatra deals, it is alluring, it's sensual, it's sexual, um, and it deals with fertility. So, so this nakshatra, farmers would want to plant during the, the time the moon is in this nakshatra because it deals with fertility and growth and prosperity. This is a wealthy nakshatra. This nakshatra in Taurus, Taurus of course rule, uh, rules Venus, but when you think about Rohini, Rohini is ruled by the moon. And when the moon is in this nakshatra, it's exalted. 
It's in its highest, most powerful position. So a moon in Rohini is blessed. <clears throat> so it deals with growth, prosperity, and it can also deal with having children. So this is the nakshatra that deals with the desire to procreate, to have children, to have, and it represents uh, beautiful children. And most of all, this nakshatra can deal with prosperity and wealth. Uh, it deal, and people with this uh, nakshatra strong do have very, very strong materialistic needs. They're very much a part of the materialistic world. Love, sensuality, and the pleasures of life. It's in the earth sign Taurus. Of course it's going to be about earthy things. The earth, fertile, growth, crops, prosperity, sensuality, good food, good, the qualities of life, the, the best of the best. This is what the nakshatra Rohini is all about. So if you would like more information on Vedic Astrology, remember, you can always go to my university, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.